Welcome back to the hangar. This is going to be a short and sweet update, or short but sweet update. <laughs> Alrighty, I really appreciate everyone commenting. Uh, keep them comments coming. Enjoy the show. Well, welcome back. I'm back here at the hangar again to continue some work. Now, um, last time I left you all, I had disassembled the engine and uh, checked a bunch of things through and discovered that I had one bearing that was bad so I need to replace that bearing. I don't have that bearing, it's on order. Uh, it didn't arrive uh, by the end of this week so I'm here at the weekend again at the hangar working on the airplane again but I won't be doing anything with the bearing. However, I did get something in the mail. Oh, a very heavy box. Oh. And in it is another tool. You know, it's something about us guys. We really do like tools. You know, it's not like bread. They don't go stale. They don't go bad. And you're probably going to use it again sometime in the future, maybe. So, yeah, it's an investment, not an expense. Remember that. It's when the wives say, why'd you buy another tool? It's an investment, not an expense. Ha! <laughs> okay. So, let's take a look over here. Let me... Okay. Oh, oh, I think I just uh, changed my. Nope. All right. So underneath this rag, this bearing here is the one that needs to be replaced. It, it's, you know, it's not lumpy, but it's making a little bit of noise. It's no more. Wiggly. Hang on, let's get real close. Can't hear that at all. Here, I'll get this real close. Okay, I'm not sure if you can hear that. Oh, too close. Uh, but that bearing does make a little bit of noise. Oop. And the old saying is, where there's noise, there's wear. So and the other ones are absolutely whisper quiet, nothing at all, and very smooth. So, uh, what I have in this box here is a clamshell bearing puller. Hey! And all that means is that I can remove that bearing. Uh, a clamshell style bearing puller uh, allows you to remove a bearing and be able to put it back on because it doesn't damage the bearing when you remove it. Um, and um, yeah, now hopefully this one will work. I think it will. It looks like it's, I've already looked at it. Um, but I'm not going to unbox it right now. You'll have to wait till the next episode for that. <laughs> you see what I'm doing here? Kind of like those TV shows that says stay tuned for next week's episode when we and that's what's, yeah. So I'm not going to be unboxing it because there's nothing I can do. I, I mean, I can pull the bearing off. But then I'll be, okay, now I don't have the bearing to put on. Um, so, yeah, I need to, I need to, uh, I'm going to do that all in one shot. Pull the bearing off, uh, clean everything up, and then reinstall the bearing. And um, uh, I'm going to film all that. So anybody who's uh, thinking of doing it, it's not a very hard process. Um, but it is a process, and uh, uh, I need to manufacture or fashion a, um, a something uh, to hold the crankshaft steady while I'm doing this. Um, so um, yeah, okay. So that's that's that. The engine is not going to be worked on today. So what am I going to work on today? Well, follow me. Remember that box that I was building that's sitting right down there? Well, I'm going to finish that, and I'm going to make the door for it, mount the little Zeus fasteners and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to get that done today. I'm going to finish up that portion, and then um, I'm going to be installing those uh, modified new Roni brackets for my wing struts that go along the... Uh, the fuselage, the, the Longeron, that have that um, aluminum um, plate 
that goes between the tube and the and the and the U-shaped bracket for the the strut, and that plate essentially distributes distributes the weight um, evenly, rather than on a narrow point where it's sitting on the tube. You'll see. Um, that's the plan for today. I'm going to be working on both of those. I'll film that. Now, there will be more people here in the hangar, so there might be conversations going on, that kind of stuff, and, uh, and whatnot. Uh, but, yeah, so that's the goal for today, uh, working on my airplane, is to get all that uh, finished up. So, um, thanks a lot for following along. I appreciate this. And um, uh, down there again, remember, hit that little like thing. And uh, if you like what you see and you want to see more, hit the subscribe with the ringy dingy bell. And definitely leave a comment. More of you are leaving comments, uh, even just saying hello from wherever you are. Um, Poland? Wow, cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah, wherever you are in the world, just say hello from wherever you're watching from. And it uh, kind of gives me an idea what kind of reach this is getting. I'm. Um, as of filming today, I'm at 186 subscribers. Wow. Um, doesn't sound like much, but it does when you didn't expect any. When you only did this so your family and friends can see what you're doing with your airplane and just kind of logging it for your own purposes. So I put it up on YouTube it's for everybody else, you know. But I figured, ah, some other people are going to watch it, so I'll make it interesting. Um, but a lot more people are watching it. So. That's encouraging. It really is. Uh, especially the comments. That's really encouraging. It makes me want to come back out here and work even more. So on that note, I'm going to steal the Mike Patey uh, uh, mantra that he always uses. And let's get back to work. Six and a half hours late. Well, welcome back, boys and girls. Um, I got back to work. I <laughs> got a lot of work done. Um, but I was sidetracked with a bunch of other things as well, with uh, with other airplane stuff, and so this was uh, kind of a um, short update that we're going to do right here. Um, I didn't get done everything I wanted to get done, uh, but I got a lot done. Okay, first let's take a look at this here. Uh, this is the wooden uh, back. For the for the airplane that goes right there. Okay, this is what it comes with. And you're supposed to fold this down so you can fill the gas. Okay, well I don't need that anymore since I have a side fuel tank. But this is going back into this location. I haven't bolted it in yet, but that's where it goes. This is the glove box. And there you go. Simple hinge here. You close this, and I'm debating, do I put Zeus fasteners here to fasten it up against here, or, or what? Um, I haven't quite decided. I want it to be accessible without the use of tools. Um, so really, I, I think I'm going to use Zeus fasteners with the little uh, thumb um, piece on it. Um, so yeah, that's that's going to be uh, done still yet, but it's it's well it's late. Hang on, let me take my look at my watch here. Yeah, it's six o'clock, and I got here at uh, what time did I get here? Ten thirty in the morning. Yeah, and I have a um, uh, a commitment uh, for eight o'clock tonight, eight eight thirty around that range. It's it's a party. It's, it's uh, see here in the province of Manitoba, when a young couple is planning on getting married and they're engaged, one of the things they have is what we call a social. Uh, it's been called that since I was a kid. We still call it that. And essentially what that is, is a big party. Uh, you buy a ticket to go to the social, and then when you get to the social, you buy your booze, and you buy arm's length tickets. Uh, for a 50-50 draw and all that kind of stuff and they ha usually have prizes where you buy a uh, whole lot of tickets and you keep one half, the other half goes in a paper bag and you and all the different um, things. Anyways, it's a social, it's a party. 
Uh, many of you uh, know what I'm talking about. Uh, some of you don't, uh, because this is Canada and it's one of those things. So it's married couples, they have socials. And the aim of this thing is to raise a bit of money to help cover the costs of the wedding. So I have a social I have to go to tonight for my niece. And uh, I'm going to go there and um, um, my, uh, my brother and sister-in-law are also going and she's driving because he's planning on drinking. So I'm thinking, they don't live too far from me, I'll get them to pick me up. That way I don't have to drive home and I can, I can uh, uh, fill up on um, happy juice or whatever. And, and just, you know, have fun and not worry about it. We'll, we'll think about it. I might drive, and then I just might have a drink for the entire night sort of thing, but we'll see if I play responsible or not. Anyways, I have nothing to do with this airplane. I might even just cut this whole uh, monologue out, uh, or I'll leave it in. I don't know. Anyways, so, yeah, the, the glove box, glove box? toolbox, whatever, the uh, accessory box, hey, we'll call it that, here at the back of the aircraft is now ready. Now, hang on one sec, I need to turn on the display so I know I've got it framed. There we go. So there we go. That is what I worked on today. Uh, I was going to finish it up and work till late, then I realized, no, I've got a social to go to. So once I get this fa fastened so that it's, it doesn't flop around and locks in with some Zeus fasteners, then I will get that back plate back on and the rear seat is finished. Um, hopefully, hopefully I get my um, uh, bearing for the crank that I need to replace and I can do that next weekend. We will find out. I have a bearing extraction tool and um, um, yeah, I think I was going to show that to everybody when I use it. It's called a clamshell um, tool. I'm sure some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. But uh, huh, yeah, very short, very short uh, video. This is probably going to be only like maybe 10 minutes long uh, of an update, which is fine. It's a quickie, and uh, just let you know what's happening. Work is still happening, and uh, um, uh, that box actually took a long time, um, longer than I expected, because I had to try to figure out how I'm going to mount it in there. And I had to actually modify the box, take it apart, and put it back together again, and make it a little smaller at the top because it wouldn't go up high enough. And yeah, um, boring stuff. I could have filmed it, but you would have been yawning and clicked. Nah, forget it, and away you go. So I just show you the finished product, and let's take a look. Maybe just underneath, what I had to do. You know, there's a, an angle aluminum at, at the back, and here's one. These ones I had to make. I just made them out of uh, aluminum sheet. And then um, the rear one is bolted in place. The front one here is riveted. The reason I've got the rear one bolted in place is because if I ever have to remove this glove box thing for whatever reason, um, I can drill these rivets out, drill these two rivets out, undo two nuts and bolts in the back there, they're number 632 uh, with nylon locking nuts, undo those two and then the, the entire box slides right out. So uh, yeah, trying to make it so that if I have to service something in there that I can get at it without too much, you know, um, hassle. So that was today. Um, I need to clean up my tools and pack everything up and uh, go home and uh, um, wash up and, and put on some cologne because I'm not going to dance in tonight. So, thank you very much for following along, uh, those of you who uh, want to witness my insanity. And um, if you have any questions, leave them at the bottom with the comments. and. Uh, uh, we shall uh, catch you again here in the hangar as I work on my airplane. So um, remember, keep your stick on the ice. Bye-bye. Well, there you go. Short and sweet update. Yes, I did have fun at the wedding social, in case you're wondering. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate everybody that comments. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.